Yo guys, what's up? I have another free pick video for you today. These are for the picks on Easter Sunday. So happy Easter to you guys. If you are watching on Sunday, I am posting this Saturday night, but if you're watching on Sunday, happy Easter. Um, we have a lot of NBA games to go through. We have obviously two college games to go through, two elite eight games to go through. You guys all love my college videos and my college picks more than my NBA. So we're going to go Two college picks, one NBA pick, but I do really, really love the NBA pick. We'll save that one for last. We'll just do save it best for last, right? Um, I did see a comment on my last video saying that I need to make sure I am recapping my previous videos. So he's obviously right. I'll make sure to keep doing that. Sometimes I forget, but I'll make sure I stay consistent with that. Our last video, we did go 3-0. and So we went Mark Sears over on points he hit. We had Tristan Newton under rebounds. He didn't even get close. And then we had DeJounte Murray over 13 and a half um, rebounds and assists. He ended up getting 20, crushed it. So we went 3-0 and in the last video. So our last streak that we had, the best we got to, I think, was 16-6. and So hopefully we're at 3-0 and right now. We're going to restart it up. Hopefully we can beat that, obviously. Um, so three picks in this one. We just had three picks, went 3-0. and Let's get into the video. Um, real quick, though, guys, please do subscribe. I am posting these videos every single day for you guys. Also hit the notification button so that you get notified when I post the videos because a lot of the times I post these videos, the lines get bumped right after. So it helps you guys out a lot if you have the notification so that the lines do not get bumped before you see the video and before you go, go try to lock the play in. So please do subscribe and make sure you have the notifications on to help you guys out. But um, let's get into our first pick. So we'll obviously, like I said, we'll do the college plays first. First game, we'll go into the Purdue-Tennessee game. We're going to take a look at Lance Jones here. So Lance Jones is at 11.5 points, which he's been at pretty much every game. You guys can see he missed four games in a row, and then last game against Gonzaga, uh, barely beat it by .5 with 12. He literally came out against Gonzaga, I think had five or six points in the first five minutes of the game. He hit, I think he had like back-to-back -back threes in the first couple minutes. So he beat this in the first half. He, he got 12 points in the first half, went scoreless in the second half. He just happened to have a really good shooting night in the first half, and that stuff kind of happened, so he barely went over. The point I'm trying to make is he had a really good shooting night, and he beat it by .5. He doesn't take that many shots. Tennessee is a very good defense, okay? They're much better than Gonzaga. Not that they're a bad defense, but Tennessee is a very good defense. He barely beat it against them. We have great odds that Lance Jones is going to go under 11.5 points here. I've basically been taking him every single game during March Madness. I've been taking his under on points and he's hit like you guys just saw every game except last game. And even last game, he barely hit while having a good game. So Lance Jones, the first play, absolutely love it. Second play is going to be in, obviously we're going to go to North Carolina, um, NC State, and then Duke. We're going to go with Jared McCain. Jared McCain is at, what is he at? Let's see. So I wanted to go with his rebounds, but they don't have just a normal rebounds. We could go, no, I don't want to go rebounds and assists. I'd rather go points rebounds. So NC State's obviously not a great defense. You know, they're playing fantastic right now, obviously, Cinderella run and all that, um, even though they're a power five school. So I don't even count them as Cinderella, but whatever. It's an argument for another day, okay? They are a Cinderella team right now, um, playing very good as of late, but overall, out of every team that's left, they obviously have the worst defense, worst offense too, but definitely worst defense right now. Jared McCain has been doing very well on this line in March Madness. You guys can see he hit it the first two games, obviously crushed it against JMU, missed against Houston, totally expected that. That's not shocking. Houston's the best defense in the country. I've been saying it all year. They're one of the best defenses I've seen in college basketball in a long, long time. Totally expected, and he still got 13, which is pretty decent. I actually would have expected less against Houston, so it's actually pretty good. But um, NC State gives up a lot of points. They give up a lot of rebounds, so I really like him over 19.5 points and rebounds. I like him more if you can get him over 4.5 rebounds, maybe even 5.5 rebounds. You guys can see Price Picks does have his line up. If you look at just rebounds, they do have it up, but it's a Demon at 6.5 and, and then a Goblin at 4.5. So it's kind of up to you guys if you want to play it safe. You could definitely go with this. Um, I do try to tell you guys, though, I said in the last couple of videos, I'm going to continue to say it because the whole point of this YouTube channel is to try to help you guys out, give you best, give you the best plays, give you the best strategies, all that to help you guys make money betting on sports, right? Obviously, that's the whole point of this channel. 
I'm trying to tell you guys, do not bet on prize picks. Their lines are awful compared to every single other app. Underdog is a little bit better, but even then, they take their lines down a lot. They bump their lines a lot. I don't like underdog and prize picks because they're too popular, so they move their lines too much, and they are way too inflated. Four and a half rebounds are here. You guys can see Goblin. If you guys go on the Sleeper app, they have it at four and a half rebounds straight up right now anyway. And then I'm going to get into the last pick, which is an NBA pick, and I'm going to show you guys this is my other main problem with prize picks. My pick is Jalen Green, right? I'm going to give him one last chance. Nope, still not up. So every other um, app has this up already except prize picks, okay? My pick is Jalen Green over 26 and a half points. Look, Sleeper already has it up. It's at 26 and a half, like I said. Guys, go get this pick as soon as possible. I've done this long enough to know when lines are going to get bumped. This line is absolutely going to get bumped, no question about it. And when Prize Picks does eventually put it up, knowing Prize Picks, they're probably going to have it at 27 and a half, okay? But you guys can see he hit it four games in a row. Now he's playing Dallas, an awful defense at 26 and a half. Love it. Absolutely love this play. There's no red flags. It's only green flags that I, as far as I can see, he's been crushing this line, playing a horrible defense. He plays almost every minute of the game. He's been playing in the 40s. Every other game, he's playing 40 or more minutes. It's insane. And Houston needs to win these games, obviously. They're trying to get into the play-in tournament and try to beat out the Warriors right now. So they need these games. They are just throwing him on the court the entire game, and he's been crushing this plane very, very well. If you guys are not on sleeper, you guys need to get on sleeper so that you have the better lines, especially this Jalen Green pick. I love this Jalen Green pick. Like I'm trying to get at, guys, my whole point is to try to help you guys make money. You guys will make more money on the sleeper app, okay? Yes, I have a code with them, and you guys can use it. They also give you a $500 deposit match, which is also insane because most apps only give you $100. They give you an extra $500. If you guys don't know how that works, if you deposit $500, they bump it up to $1,000. If you just break even over the course of a week, you could legitimately just pull out that money, withdraw, and you just made a free $500 in a week. Free $500 in a week. And this is the only app doing that. Every other app's only $100. So yes, I have a code with them. So obviously, I know you guys are like, oh, he's promoting the app he has a code for. Yes, I am. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, regardless, even before I had codes for any apps, I was pushing Sleeper. It's the best app. It's not even close. Anyone that bets on sports knows Sleeper is the best app. Get on Sleeper if you're not on it already. If it's legal in your state and you're not on it, I don't know what you're doing. But make sure you use code Ghost all caps so that you do get that five hundred dollar deposit match. I don't want you guys to sign up and not get that. Make sure you get that. So use code Ghost. You guys need to make sure you get that. They also have a bunch of promos like you guys can see right here. I'll scroll through it. This is literally all within the last couple of days. They spam their thing with promos. But anyways, those are the picks. Jared McCain over 19 and a half rebounds and points. Lance Jones under 11 and a half points. And then Jalen Green over 26 and a half points. If you guys don't have Sleeper in your state and you need to put this on prize picks, it's perfectly fine. Just give it a little bit of time. Prize picks will eventually put up Jalen Green. They're probably going to put it up for 27 and a half, but that's okay. You guys can still take it at 27 and a half. Um, I'm just telling you guys, if you want the better advantage, obviously get it on sleeper. Same thing with the McCain pick. Get his rebounds at four and a half on sleeper as well. That's also linked in the bio or linked in the description of this video to make it easier, easier for you guys. I linked it so you guys could just go there and download it. it. Takes two seconds. I'm just trying to make it quicker for you guys. But those are the picks. We got Jalen Green. Lance Jones, Jared McCain. Um, other than that, guys, please do like the video. I've been grinding these videos out for you guys every single day. I'm not missing a day. Okay, we do it for college basketball, NBA. We also have MLB coming up. We even have WNBA coming up, which I know a lot of you guys are laughing about when I say that. Why are we betting on women's basketball? I get it, okay? But it is actually, you guys might not believe this, it is the most statistically speaking and mathematically speaking, it is the most profitable, bet, profitable sport to bet on. MLB and WNBA are. So we even have that coming up. So go ahead, subscribe, like the videos. Also drop a comment if you guys like these picks. And then also if you guys have your own picks that you like, drop that in the comments as well. We'll give each other feedback. I love to see everyone's feedback feedback in the comments. So thank you guys so much. Um, other than that, guys, good luck with all your bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.